and you can actually at the very top see kind of a notch where you're looking through to the space on the other side. And that canyon is really quite deep. It's about four to six miles deep. Um, I find that fascinating. <laughs> Zooming in on this area. Here's the image, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> the most stunning thing about this, well, there's many stunning things, but the most striking geologically is we have not yet found a single impact crater on this image. This means this is a very young surface um, because Pluto is being bombarded by other objects in the Kuiper Belt, and it's bound, craters happen. Uh, so. We just eyeballing it, we think it has to be probably less than 100 million years old, which is a small fraction of the four and a half billion year age of the solar system. There is no giant body that can be deforming Pluto on an ongoing regular basis uh, to heat the interior. Sharon is just too small to do that. So this is telling us that you do not need tidal heating to power ongoing recent geological activity on icy worlds. That's a really important discovery that we just made this morning. <laughs> so, tidal energy due to breaking into orbit around Neptune could have uh, been powering uh, the activity on, on Triton. So that may have been the case for Triton, but it can't be the case for Pluto. And now we've settled the fact that these very small planets can be very active after a long time. And I think it's going to send a lot of geophysicists back to the drawing boards to try to understand how exactly you do that.